This week we're emphasizing winning with the overhook when we clear the head and we play all of the game that comes from clearing the head. The first technique is the omoplata. Don't focus so much on the finish. The finish is easy when you dominate the position. Okay, so here's the positional cues. Just because we ended in the double leg, we're starting in side control bottom with an overhook, elbow control. I'm shrimping out and I'm connecting my elbow to my knee on the inside here. Then I'm gonna jailbreak, pummel out. I'm keeping my strong overhook. Okay, at no time am I letting my partner pummel his arm back in. Foot on the hip. I come up here. This is when I let go of the overhook. When my leg comes up to New York, Right now, my overhook is what's holding him in position. When he goes to sit up, good overhook is holding him up, holding him down. You guys see that? When my leg comes up to New York, now I'm replacing that overhook. Only for a second though, because now we're gonna clear the head. All right, now, when we go to clear the head, immediately when I get my leg in front of my partner's neck, I'm extending, catching the elbow, and I'm basing out, straightening him away. He can't fight this. Eventually, I'm gonna curl my legs in the opposite direction. They were facing in, now they're gonna face out. The whole time, I'm holding the back of his elbow, okay? Now, here's where we get in the positional battle. My partner still is up in his base. He's basically turtled up. You guys see that? Once I sit up and I tuck his wrist in and I catch it here, now I'm gonna reach out and I'm gonna sit myself out and away from my partner. I'm in here, I'm reaching out, and I'm dragging myself away. You guys see that? That pulls my partner's shoulder to the mat. It breaks his hips all the way down to the mat. Now he's fully broken down. This is where I want you guys to attack from. Make sense? Now I'm gonna squeeze my knees in, even put my shelf underneath my partner's elbow, and slowly I'm gonna drive up, moving my knee closer to the ground. If your partner's threatening to scramble, Reach under the far side armpit, S grip. Use this S grip to pull yourself up, but we're not pulling ourselves diagonal. I'm not going over his back. Even though I'm attaching here in the shoulder, I'm driving my knee up to the ground. And that's the strong finish. Here we are in New York. My foot is on the hip, okay? And part of my foot being on the hip here is his arm is already on the outside of my shin. Do you guys see that? This is actually not that hard to achieve, okay? If his arm was on the inside and I got up to New York, I use my elbow in his bicep here and I push it over my shin. That's how I set up like 90% of my triangles. If I wanted to keep your arm in, this would mean I was going for a dead orchard. That means I want your arm in. You guys see the difference? So we're here in New York. If his arm was in, I would push it out. Okay, now I'm set up. Now this could mean triangle, and maybe because he thinks it's a triangle, he starts holding onto my leg so that I can't move this leg, right? But that also means that I'm under his armpit. So he's holding the leg, but I'm under the armpit. I'm gonna clear the head. I'm gonna open the leg thread my toes underneath and lock it all down. My ankle's under his armpit, I just locked it in, my knees are squeezing. And now I'm gonna extend my legs out as I start to sit up. The more I, no surprise here, the more I flare my knee back, where am I putting pressure down? Yeah, the back of his shoulder. You see that? With my knees high, is there a lot of, there's a lot of entanglement but is there a lot of pressure? No, he'll probably think he can sit up right now. Can he sit up? Yeah, he can probably sit up. Do you guys see that? That's not good for me. Now can he sit up? No, he can comply. <laughs> okay, does that make sense? It's a little bit, it was, it was a hop backwards with my butt as I flare my knee to catch his shoulder. That breaks him down. Now from here, the finishes I have options. I can bend the arm, hold the elbow, and I can run this up. That's the Kimura slash Umaplata finish, right? Or I can squeeze my knees together and I can bring his elbow out and 
and I can hyperextend his arm. That's the arm bar. Do you guys see that? Why do we need to know both? Because his natural route to escaping this, he can't posture up. So at some point, he might try to roll his arm back in and curl it around. So we were over here in the umaplata kimura zone, but if I feel him starting to curl his arm back in, I'll just take it yeah. right there to the straight arm lock. We're in New York. We're hugging the knee. If you need help clearing the head, just face palm. Clear the head. Open, thread, lock it down. Sit up and hit back. Hips back. Knees flared, pressure down on the shoulder. Tap. The crank, tap. The extension. For this next technique, we call this the carney. We're gonna be in New York. He's gonna shove my leg down and hop over. That's my red alarm that my guard is about to get past, right? We're in New York. Maybe I think, I'm, I'm like, what do I do next? How much time is left in the round? He starts pushing my leg down to the ground so he can step over it. You guys see that? Well, that's a big problem. Okay, red alarm. I clear the head, face palm. I get right through. I extend his leg, I come through. I squeeze my knees together. Now I have the same shoulder lock, but instead of being under his armpit, I'm under the far side leg. That's what makes this the carney. It breaks the posture, folds them in half, and makes it really difficult for them to deal with this, okay? All I have to do at this point is hook my toes behind the far side knee. I'm squeezing and I'm driving pressure down into his shoulder. It's gonna take him a while to figure out how to clear all of this. That should be plenty of time to hit the shoulder lock, right? The question is not, can he escape? Of course he can escape. The question is, how much time do you need to finish the shoulder lock? It should be way, way faster for you to finish the shoulder lock, right? Than for him to escape, okay? So here's the carney number time. New York, he tries to step over my leg. If somehow he does manage to get his leg out, where should I fall back to? Right back to this hazelet. You guys see that? If somehow he manages to get out of this, where should I fall back to? Omoplata. Oh, 